So hey guys, welcome to this video. So I'm going to be doing a review of a thermal radar 2. So this is um, came my Asus X99 Sabre 2 from motherboard. So obviously it has all your temperatures on the bottom. So you got your CPU, you got your motherboard, your V cores, and your PCH, which I think is the South Bridge, but I'm not sure. For some reason it's gone up to 45 which has been pretty crazy but CPU is at 31 so I've got an Intel Core i7-5820K the 6 core processor which is pretty good pretty good definitely a good processor if you're out looking for one so you can check um, all your V cores yep yeah, so you just go through this like interface you can check you also got sensors which I haven't used yet which I'm tempted to use but I'm not sure what to stick them on but yeah, it's definitely good. So you got your thermal tuning. So this will, so like it will, you'll find the best settings for your computer. So I'm going to show you what it's like. So you press start. It will like turn on the fans pretty loudly. So I installed two fractal design fans because the Corsair H10i H100. Or H, yeah, or H100 I fans were pretty loud, so I decided to get the fractal design ones. So they were like about 40 quid for two, I think. So they're definitely a def definite improvement. So this basically, you can see it's going down, the sound's going down a bit now. So it finds the optimal sort of thermal tuning for your computer, which is pretty good. Sometimes I have to rerun it a couple of times to get the best sort of thermal thing, but it's still definitely worth doing. So should be nearly done now. So look, as you can see, the my RPM of my fans are all changing, so it's testing them individually to f to find the best setting for them and see how much it's actually doing for them. So. Yeah, so my computer's pretty silent at the moment. It's in a Fractal Design R5 case, which is pretty pretty decent case if anyone's looking to buy one. But don't don't buy an Asus X99 Saber tooth in that case because it just and with the radio at the top it just doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work for me. It hasn't worked very well because I haven't got the much events at the top of the Fractal Design R5. So as you can see, it's all done. It's all done now. So like that's my CPU fan, so it can tell you what RPMs it can run at. So the maximum speed is 2351 RPM. And we've got my there's my back fan, so it tells you at 20% power what it's gonna run the RPM at. It's really good. So I press OK to that. So you also you can control the fan in individually, so you can load profiles to it. So profiles like full speed, if you want to max it out and stuff. So you've got fan over time. So I you to set a system fan to run over time to get rid of a lot of heat. And we've also got dusty fan. So that basically runs the fans backwards to get all in reverse to get rid of all the dust. And also we've got a, you can control the, the graphics card, so I've got a GTX 970 Strix, so the one that um, has meant to be really silent, but I don't really like it to be running silent, so I decided to use Smart Mode, which will allow me to individually run the fan at certain temperatures. So as you can see, at 20, 20%, 20 and if it's at 28 degrees, 28 degrees it will be at that point it goes up as the temperature increases so it's my thermal stasis so it's giving me a sort of how well thermally I'm doing so I've, I'm not it's not a really good place because it's under my desk so probably not really good for the CPU zone but it's it's all right I think so moving on to this recorder so it shows you the temperature over time got the power control so this is all like your CPU and your RAM so you can control the what power is going to it and stuff I haven't really gone into any of this but well 
So we also got you can do the AI charger. So if you've got an iPhone or something, it can three times fast charge your iPhone or Samsung or whatever device you have. So you've got your BIOS update, you've got your system information, you've got USB 3.1 boost. So that will boost. If you've got any 3.1 devices in there, it will boost it up. Um, moving on to it's pretty much it. You've got a USB charger. So that's just obviously what it says, just charging. So yeah, it's just fast charging really. Push note, it's got a version of the thing. That's pretty much it. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on um, Asus Thermal Radar 2. If you've got any recommendations for me for any videos, let me know and I'll get it going on. Thanks a lot.